fans were taking their places. It was hardly the weather for it, but fancy dress was the order of the day for some, and there was a hero or two about as well. Jimmy Johnson used to pack them in as a player, and he was back to pay homage to the fans. Come kickoff time, there wasn't a terracing space to be had. The game about to unfold seemed pretty incidental. With 13 minutes gone, Dundee were awarded a penalty, and Ikiwomya sent flying by Gordon Marshall. Captain for the day, Jim Duffy, took the kick, and for all we know, it's still travelling. With Paul McStay orchestrating from midfield, Celtic began to create chances. Jerry Craney, restored to the first team after injury, played a big part in this build-up before shooting just over the bar. McStay was in the thick of it again two minutes later. Feeding McAvenny for a shot on the turn, which beat Paul Mathers, but came back off the crossbar. No goals at half-time, but Celtic gave the fans something to cheer. The European Cup and the Lisbon Lions always go down well at Parkhead. And another chance for the fans to pay homage to the jungle. The seating plan is all too much for this guy. Back to the action, and Celtic wasted no time in the second half before taking the lead. There didn't seem to be that much on at the time, but Dundee couldn't clear their lines, and they allowed Paul McStay to pounce on the loose ball to score. Celtic then went in search of a second, and they almost got it. Mathers doing well to turn McAvenny's shot round for a corner. But the same striker got his own back within seconds. The corner not properly cleared, McAvenny turning away from his man and burying the chance. Dundee, to their credit, tried to get back into it. Steve Campbell's diving header bringing out a save from Marshall, but that was their lot as far as goal attempts were concerned. Then the space opened up for Mike Galloway to have a blast. He did, but Mathers got a hand to it, and the match finished at 2-0. A winning farewell to the jungle then. The fans stayed on. And the players and management showed their appreciation.